Hello and welcome and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Spellbinders Wax Seal and Stitching Die of the Month for March of 2024. Let's get started. Have a look here at this incredible Stitching Die of the Month. The name of this product is Stitched Read and Sip. And the window is open now. If you've never ordered a Spellbinder Stitching Die Kit, the time frame for orders is the 6th through the 27th. So if you are interested in subscribing, I'll have a link below in the description box. Um, just click on the more below and you'll be able to have a link right to this product. I'm also showcasing the wax seal of the month. Congrats on your new chapter. The wax seal is square and features a full bag of twilight purple beads. I'm going to go ahead and open up this pack. You get a full size bag with the wax seal of the month club. So this is a great way to start your wax seal collection and you get treated to a beautiful full size bag of beads every month. Again, I'll have this listed below in my description box. If you want to order any of the kits, the window again is the 6th through the 27th. And if you um, use my link, it helps me support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and melt some of these beautiful purple beads. Purple is my favorite color. So I was really excited to see that we were getting a bag of purple wax beads this month. Now I do have a little oven, but I use my heat gun to heat up my wax instead of lighting a candle. I also have an electric um, warmer, but I prefer this method. I don't know, it's just how I got started with wax seals and I think it's, you know, just satisfying for me to melt these beads down with my heat gun. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all you have to do is have a little spoon, melt your beads and then uh, use like a silicone mat and um, pour them out and then you can stamp your wax seal. I also grabbed an older wax seal that I have that says happy birthday because I really like the purple and I wanted to make some extra seals. So this is the one for the month of March. It's a nice square. And then once I show you the other two, I can let you know what they're called and if they're still available through Spellbinders. So I put, I think, four beads in this time. I'm going to add a little bit more of that purple wax because it's, it's a pretty big seal compared to some of the other you know, circle ones. Okay, yeah, this one says Happy Birthday. The product name is Sweet Happy Birthday, and I am going to redo it. It's one thing that's nice about the wax seals. You can always cut them up and burn them down again or melt them down again and try again if you don't like your results. So I'm using the um, congratulations on your new chapter, sweet happy birthday, and then mandala wax seals. There's the mandala. Mandala and sweet happy birthday are actually on sale right now at the Spellbinder shop. I'll have those linked below in my description box. So this is a lot of fun. I love playing with the wax seals. You can just spend hours doing this. No kidding. It's so creative and you can mix the wax beads to get a swirl if you'd like. Mix two colors together to get a different color combo. Lots of possibilities. And by using a silicone mat, it's easy cleanup because the wax just peels right off whenever it's dry. Also, when you uh, work on wax seals, one fun thing is to take a metallic paint marker and color over your wax seal impression. This is just another step that you can do to just help that impression pop a little bit. And you can use wax seals not only on envelopes, but on your cards themselves. They are nice, they add some dimension. This is just a silver metallic marker 
um, Spellbinders sells these as well. And if you're interested, Spellbinders has a wax seal starter kit that includes a, a silicone mat, um, the warmer, the tea lights. Now I'm switching over to a gold metallic marker. And that really looks really nice with that purple, which I'm not surprised. Purple is such a pretty color and purple and gold do look nice together. Okay, now that I'm done coloring my wax seals, let's go ahead and move on to putting our cards together. And I had a little bit extra ink there, so I just grabbed my paper towel and wiped that up, which worked out fine. So I already made one card off camera. This one features the dies, including the uh, teacup and the flowers and the two books. So that's to the right. Here we go. And um, I... By the way, um, I'm still healing from my um, skin graft. I had a cyst removed from my finger and I had skin grafted from my wrist to uh, close up the wound. So you'll see that I still have a uh, wound dressing on my finger and that's why. All right, so this is my second card. I did use some of the Spellbinders embossing folders. This one is the Tiny Dots. And I just used like a neutral color paper because I feel that these books are so ornate and pretty. They really do um, steal the show. You don't really need to have a lot of flashy background on this project. I'm going to put the wax seal at the top of the books. But first I wanna grab my gold gel pen. And instead of doing stitching on this card, I am using my gel pen. It's a nice metallic gold and the other card that I made, I did do the stitching. I did that off camera with my finger bandaged. It's just a little bit tricky for me to um, demonstrate the stitching this time. Sorry about that. Hopefully by next month when I do my demonstration, I'll have my finger healed and I'll be um, a more graceful uh, seamstress, which I'm not, by the way, not a stitcher not a seamstress. I always ask my mom and my sister to help me whenever things need hemmed. But you can see you using this gel pen, it's, you know, adding those little details. So I was pleased with how this turned out. Um, I like the turquoise color and the purple. Of course, purple being my favorite color and turquoise being my second favorite color. Uh, it's a nice color combo. And I also have some gold accents. So I had some gold um, paper that was um, like metallic gold. So I used that for cutting out the um, bookends, sort of like the end of the book here. And then the book on top, which is like a side view. Um, yeah, I did use some stitching on that with purple thread. And I used my score buddy just to help me line things up. I feel like it helps me to keep things from going downhill. I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's the reason why you see me using my score buddy as I'm assembling the card. I'm using Spellbinders foam squares to pop up these books. I have the large ones and the small ones. I like to use a lot of foam squares and pr create dimension on my cards. And these are great. They're so easy to remove the backing. That's important when you're making cards because it can get really tricky sometimes when the backing is so sticky that you can't, or the foam tape, whatever they do. Some of them are so hard to remove. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you've ever worked with foam tape and foam squares or foam dots, pop dots, whatever. I really like them from Spellbinders. Every time I place an order with Spellbinders, I try to put a package of those in my cart. Okay, and then this is the final book. It's got, you can see the actual pages. You can see where I stitched on the back of it. And again, I'm just adding some foam squares to the back. Now my gold metallic paper. And I think some books, like some older books, had like that gold leafing on the edge. That's what I was going for here. And then I took the um, square die from Spellbinders and I cut this square out. I backed it with the purple paper on the front. I'm using a light blue or turquoise paper. And I'm going to use this as sort of a way to ground my 
wax seal so it's just not floating out there on top of the books. Now I'm going to grab some of these little beads from Spellbinders. These are gold like half pearls and I'm adding a whole bunch of them just using my tool in one to pick them up putting them in the little circle areas of the card. Now if you wait till the end of this video I will have some still photos of my card so I encourage you to do that to get an idea of how they look when they're finished. This card is just about finished. All I have to do is adhere it to a card base. But first I'm going to go ahead and adhere my wax seal. So Spellbinder sells these adhesive circles for your wax seals. They're called wax seal stamps adhesive circles. So this is the first time I've used them. So forgive me for struggling here at first. But um, you see that there's little tabs on the side where you can easily pick up these adhesive circles and then apply them to the wax seal back and then use your tool in one to get that backing off. Now I think I was struggling because of my finger being bandaged but uh, it's not that hard to do. <laughs> and they're really super sticky which I like that. That you know gives me the feeling of security that my wax seal is going to stay there. Stay where I want it to be. Right? Then I have this metallic copper marker. Sorry about my head being in the photo, uh, in the video. And I like this because it, it just really is very nice and it really shows how that color of copper matches with the side of the book. Um, so yeah, I think that turned out really nice. This is really a sweet card. And congratulations on your new chapter. It can be for anybody, like starting a new job or graduation or you know maybe they're moving or moving on from a relationship so yeah lots of lots of uses for this type now the other card that I made I'm going to save for Mother's Day and give it to my mom because she really likes the cards that have lots of intricate die cuts that's her favorite whenever I make them I think so here it is finished card I used a purple card base and I like how this one turned out. And then my other card, by the way, I'll tell you which 3D embossing folder I used the beveled diamonds for that. And I used just a piece of like pearlescent cream colored paper. So this is my first card. Made this all off camera. Did the stitching with gold thread. Here's another photo of that card. I think it's going to make a nice Mother's Day card. I'll probably use one of my spellbinder sentiments that says happy mother's day add that to the card I'm just showing you a close-up of what it looks like when you stitch it it's really quite easy to stitch if i can do it anyone can do it okay and here's the card that i made on camera today thank you all very much for watching um, if you're new to my channel welcome i'd love it if you would subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified of my future videos Hope you enjoyed learning about the Spellbinder Stitching Die of the Month and Wax Seal of the Month Club. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And please leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this month's Stitching Die and Wax Seal of the Month Club. I really love them. Thanks. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.